Hi, this is Shar from Bricks. As part of our ongoing commitment to the security of your Bricks websites, we've introduced some important updates in our latest version 1.9.7. This video is specifically for users updating to Bricks 1.9.7 or later who utilize features like the code element, SVG element, query loops with the query editor or echo functions. If you're not using these features, your Bricks experience will continue seamlessly without any extra steps on your part. For those who do use these features, I'll guide you through the necessary steps and also briefly explain the reasoning behind these changes. I also want to make it clear that we understand that these updates might be a bit inconvenient but it's crucial to understand why these decisions were made as they are important to ensuring the enhanced security and functionality of your site with Bricks. So let's dive in. After updating, navigate to Bricks settings in your WordPress dashboard and click on custom code. Next, let's go to step three. Start with a comprehensive code review. This new feature provides an overview of all custom and executable PHP code added to your site through Bricks. It's essential to understand and verify what code is running on your site. You can start by clicking this Start Code Review button. And now you have this central page where you can review all code elements, SVG elements, query editor instances, and echo tag instances that were added to your website. You can click Next or Show All to view all instances. You can go through them and look for any malicious code. You can also filter it uh, by the type of element. So you can look for code elements only, and this will filter it, or for example, for echo tag instances. Now this code review feature is a proactive security measure. It allows you to ensure that all code added through bricks is legitimate and safe preemptively identifying and rectifying any potential exploits. Step four, code execution. If your site uses custom code that needs to execute and you've gone through the code review and found no instances of malicious code, you'll need to allow code execution in the brick settings explicitly now. You'll have to scroll down and click enable code execution, select the role and then save the brick settings. So yes, this change means that code execution will be disabled by default out of the box and you have to explicitly enable it before being able to use it. Step five, generate signatures. You can generate code signatures across your entire site from Bricks settings by clicking this regenerate code signatures button underneath Bricks settings custom code. You can also visit individual pages where in the builder unsigned code instances will be highlighted. You can click on any element that needs a code signature and you can sign the code which would allow you to run and execute this piece of code on your website. And as you can see now it executes or you can also click this button right here in the structure panel which says unsigned code. And once you click that, it'll show you all instances of code on this page that wasn't signed. You can then sign them individually or you can sign them all. Now, this signature includes the code elements, SVG elements and query editor instances. So you might be asking yourself, why generate signatures? Code signatures are a new security feature ensuring that the code on your site is authentic and has not been tampered with. By signing your code, you create a unique hash signature attached to that element. It uses your site's WordPress source, which are saved in wp-config.php, which verifies the code's integrity. You can read more about the details by checking out our code signatures article, which is linked in the description down below. Step six, update echo tag functions. Since Bricks version 1.9.7, echo tag functions now require code execution to be enabled to execute. This change is also part of our efforts to enhance security by ensuring that only authorized users can control PHP code execution on your site. You also now have to explicitly set what functions are callable through the echo tag. And you do that through this filter bricks code echo function names. 
Now, this extra step for echo tag functions, though inconvenient, is essential for tightening your site security. It restricts callable PHP functions to only those who specifically approve, effectively reducing the risk of unwanted or harmful code running on your site. This is about ensuring only the necessary and safe functions are active, which aligns with our commitment to robust security practices. And we only allow this through a filter rather than, say, for example, a setting on this custom code page so that you can't add it through the database. You have to have someone that is able to edit PHP files on the website for them to set what functions can be called. But we try to make it easier for you by auto-generating the filters function, by scanning your entire website for echo functions, and we pull all the functions that are being called. We also add this comment if the function does not exist. You can then remove it, modify it, or just implement the function. To show you an example, let's say I add a new section. I then add a basic text element. And let's say I call a function through the echo tag. You can then save. I reload the settings page. I'm filtering for echo tags. And as you can see, my function is here and it does exist. So I can copy the function, click appearance, theme file editor, functions.php. Here I'm using a bricks child theme to add the filter, which you can download from your account area. So this is my custom function and I can add my filter right here. Since these functions are, do not exist and I don't plan to implement them, I can, for example, delete them. And now my function is callable. So before I save, let me just see again. Again here, echo, it just says, yeah, it's my function, but it's not being executed. But if I save the file now, go back, let's reload the builder. You can see now it outputs hello bricks. So now my function is callable through the echo tag. And the final step is to just verify the front end and make sure that your website is functioning as expected. With these changes, Bricks becomes inherently more secure, enhancing the defense against potential vulnerabilities, including those from secondary sources like other plugins. This proactive approach to security helps in future-proofing your Bricks websites. For a more in-depth understanding of the Bricks code integrity verification process, feel free to check out our detailed code signatures article linked in the description below. Thanks for tuning in and let's keep building a web that's as secure as it is easy to craft.